Tamsin, the tip about this rabbi was called into a rape hotline, but the rabbi's mother just told me she thinks her son is a victim of extortion. This case is just another headache for the Orthodox Jewish Hasidic community. For a community that invests so much effort in its girls maintaining modesty, it's the men of the Satmar Hasidim that seem to be getting into so much trouble with sex. 33-year-old Rabbi Yol Malik now accused of preying on three troubled teen boys from a borough park yeshiva for at-risk students, taking two of them to motels, including this one, the Washington in Clinton Hill, where the manager told police Malik came in with a boy on January 17th. He's a tall, guy, a tall boy. He was a tall boy? Yeah, tall. How old did he seem to be? Uh, that I don't know. The manager of the Washington Motel told us that Malik came here with a tall boy to this room to see earlier this month and that the two stayed here for a total of eight hours. We noticed that heavy-duty porn is playing on a TV monitor nonstop on the wall. I asked ID. You asked for ID? Yeah, I asked ID and asking ID. He showed ID. And what did the ID say? Did it say his age? He's not too underage. But when you see a man, an adult man, bringing a tall boy to a hotel, that doesn't put a red flag in your brain? No. 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 Police say the victims are between 14 and 16 years of age, with one boy fleeing another hotel when Malik started rubbing his back. Another boy said that he was groped in Malik's car. The arrest comes just over a week after unlicensed Satmar counselor Nakemya Weberman was sentenced to 103 years in prison for turning a schoolgirl into his sex toy for three years, starting when she was just 12. Malik lives with his wife in this Williamsburg apartment building where baby carriages were crammed into the hallway. Very good man. A very good man. Levy Herzog knows Malik, too. Do you think that if someone knows something, if someone's been abused... Do you think they should go to the police, or do you think they should go to the rabbis first? Try the rabbis first. Why do you say that? Because um, I'm, I'm Jewish, and we have our laws. But what the district attorney thinks is that rabbis are covering up the abuse because they don't want the police involved. It's absolutely not true. All right, we just met the rabbi's mother inside the courthouse, and she told PIX11 that her son, a father of five, is being framed. Anything to say about your son's arrest, what happened? I don't believe one bit of these accusations. He has somebody who threatened to do him in if he doesn't give him $10,000. Your son, as far as you know, is not involved with boys, with teenage boys? Uh, my son has nothing to do with them. With what? With teenage boys. Mrs. Malik believes the man that tipped police about her son is a former employee from the yeshiva, and he had his own previous legal trouble involving boys several years ago. Now, it seems there's been some kind of delay in the arraignment here at court, so we're wondering if this witness has anything to do with that delay. We'll have more at 10. Reporting live from Brooklyn Criminal Court, I'm Mary Murphy, Pixel 11 News. Back to you, Tamsin, in the studio.